they're shoulder to shoulder, crazy. It's not like just for me to get to here took like 20 minutes. It's gonna be epic, man. I can't sense any nerves. It's been a never ending. I gotta poop it. <laughs> ready? Good luck. Ready? 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 The first video we ever made on a YouTube channel was actually a skit. Not many people know that, but if you go back to our very first upload, you'll see just four or five skits that we created. Um, had no idea that YouTube could turn into a job, but after uploading a few skits, we started uploading some pranks because we had some channels we liked uh, that we followed. And then we started to realize that as you get more views, you can actually make money. And I was like, okay, this is a game changer. This, James. this is this is the bandstand where we're gonna be taking pictures for the meet and greet if you're a part of the VIP. You know? whoa, Pretty whoa, nice. Whoa! <laughs> this is the entire VIP section, which is super cool. We're gonna have some nice little exclusive things for VIP ticket holders. Our live stream host Matthew is gonna be posted up right here for the show. This is a great view, am I right? They're like most people you know like Black Sheep show or some places like we're at like a real show. Mm. Like a I mean, just look at the venue, bro. It's ridiculous. And this isn't even with all the lights on, with wow. everything. Holy cow! With our crap changed yeah. All these tables are gonna be gone, so there's gonna be like a couple rows in the back, but that's about it. And then everything else here is gonna be open space with all the fellas. That's a lot of fellas. It's a lot of fellas. <laughs> fellas. <laughs> what are you doing? One part of the show, we're having a basketball dunk competition. So you have to use your imagination with me. Ready? Ready. Oh, man. Look at that. Come on, good. Yeah. Wait, me? Yeah, you. Come up the stairs. Uh, really? Yeah, you. Uh, okay. Here. Oh, my gosh, guys. Hey, what's your name, man? I'm Jeffy. Hey, Jeffy. Hey, what are your name? You don't know who we are? Get Why are you? I get, get out, get out. Get I didn't. <laughs> we just did our final walkthrough with all the folks here at the Boot Barn Hall, getting all the fine details worked out. And man, this is crazy. It's a lot of work because we've never done a live show before, and there's so much that goes into making something like this happen. Yeah, pretty crazy. So. But I think we're ready. One week till the show starts. I'm ready. No nerves at all? No, I'm, I'm nervous, for sure. More excited, but still. It, uh, Thinking about it, we've never done this before, so anything could go wrong, really. What's your biggest worry? Uh, my biggest worry is that something goes wrong where it's like a long, awkward pause on stage. Like, you know, mics aren't working for a long time, so we're just, you know, awkwardly standing there for a while, just being like, I don't know how to fix this. But I feel like we got the flow down pretty well, so it's all just about the back end stuff kind of working as well, which I don't think we'll have a problem with because people like Boot Barn do this for a living, so I'm not worried about that. Oh, 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 oh. Don't trip, Billy. Oh. Or do. Oh. 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 All right, we've got this rental truck basically full of all the stuff we need to bring over for the live show. Merch, props, backgrounds. Yep. And we still have more stuff. <laughs> we'll be able to fit it in. Ugh. Guys, we are super excited because the Laugh Daily Ambulance 
is making an appearance at the live show and we had to go through a bunch of hoops just to get this to come to the live show. It didn't pass emissions tests. It had a bunch of work done on it and it still needs a bunch more work done on it, but we had to get it to the live show. So we're making it work. Oh no. <laughs> As the channel grew, I don't think our relationship really changed too much because the way we built it from the beginning of our vlogs and our pranks and just really just loving our fans and just you know want them to like feel like they're part of the family feel like they're part of the channel and that's kind of maybe you know like how we started so then as we grew we just kind of had that same mentality of like yo like let's always do stuff with fans let's always like make them feel involved and always make them feel like they're included in the videos or you know whatever it is all right right here we have the very first plinko board that started all the budget challenges, overnight survival challenges. This is where it began with this guy here. So we're gonna bring it to the live show. It's like a memorabilia like prop. And we're gonna bring a ball. People can, you can drop it down if you want. But anyways, for all the VIPs, we're gonna have a special like museum of like J Stew rares and collectibles. So this will be on there for sure. Yeah. We did a collab with Preston and their team made this board for us. It's pretty legit. Yeah. Okay, is pause. Is it in? Yeah. No, no, not yet. My name is Hyper Fenton. No. Uh, I am, I guess, an artist, an actor, and just all around fun guy. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, I, I work with Jay Stu. Obviously, I'm on some of the some of the videos. I'd make all the music and stuff. So that's fun. That's what I do. How do you feel about going into a, a live event? Terrible. I feel terrible. Uh, wish, wish I didn't have to do it. No, I'm just kidding. No, I feel good. I feel pumped. I'm super excited to be a part of the live, the live event. Um, you know, my back, my background's acting. So I was a BFA at SMU in acting. So I love, love stage work. Love, you know, anything to get in front of an audience. So I'm, I'm pumped. It's gonna be epic. Pick up the like two bad news and it's like $1,900. $1,900? Yeah, I definitely don't think that's worth it. Nineteen hundred dollars for two banners. All right, man. Bye. So we had planned to have these step and repeat things that are behind us for the VIPs. Uh, so when you take a picture, you see like our logos all behind us. But apparently, they weren't. Something was missing, and it wasn't shipped to us, so we now don't have them. Obviously not a big deal. It's just kind of like a cool thing to have in the background, but hey, it's okay. Stuff like this happens and we're just going to figure it out. So my expectation is that there will be more hiccups, but it's okay because we'll get it figured out and we'll make it all work. So we're just going to have a good time, have fun and not make little things a big deal. So it's all right. We just got to the venue. They have taken out, I think, every table inside except for tables in the back because yeah. we needed that done. So we're gonna get to see what it looks like. Let's go inside. <laughs> Let's not go inside. <laughs> My dad was asking me, he's like, are you guys gonna have any tables and chairs at the event? I was like, I don't think so because we're trying to get rid of everything. So I think a bunch of parents might be pretty happy that we have all Have these. room in the back, yeah. It yeah. Would, I was just worried like, it would be packed from here to like out here because then these tables might be like in the way but i doubt i think we're going to be able to get a thousand people there yeah it's going to be a lot of people <laughs> yeah all right a lot of people well i guess we should get unloading yeah first you show up late then you show up with a green tongue <laughs> where am i going Anything else? No. Oh, right. concert merch! Ow. I got these, don't worry guys. Oops. Wow. It's a little smudgy. Well, my name is Samuel Fisher, so I've been working with Jay Stu since February, which isn't a ton of time, but it's been super fun. And I've known the guys for a long time because we've gone to church together and that kind of stuff. 
but my role on the team is the project manager. So I help with all the odds and ends details, help get sets built, put together, come up with new ideas, help implement business strategies. So my roles cross a lot of departments because we're a small team, but we have a ton of fun. DJ, stand out! <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to get two! I'm right here, Bumbo! Not you, elf! I need more than that! This is too light! Yes, chef! Oh, whoa! Oh. Whoa, what you got there? Shorts! Shorts! DJ, watch out! Oh. <laughs> got it! <laughs> hey! Dude! Oh, I need DJ. Oh, yeah, only. Definitely one more person. Dude. Seth can only lift you who. You either need two of me or one of <laughs> DJ stand up. DJ stand up. Go go go. Uh, lift. Oh, oh man. Indian muscles got it. Holy hernia. You want help, guys? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So for our plinko board challenge, we have four options. We have one good option and three bad options. So we're each going to choose a fan to come on stage. And if they drop the ball and it lands on the good option, they're going to get to keep a Nintendo Switch. And if they land on a bad option, it's basically a punishment for us that the fan gets to do on us. So how many switches you got? We got three. Hey, bro. Oh, see you, bro. Good to see you. Yes, bro. Love you guys, man. Yes. Yes. Sorry, bro. Wait, was you riding with me, Rick? Who's yeah. going in what? Yeah. Are we all going back sure. to the now? Yes, yes, to go home. Man, Jace Stu, these guys, I luckily have an incredible a pastor friend that knew that I was down on my luck. After I c c COVID last year, I was like running a live event business for the last 10 years. And so once the virus hit and there was no live events, there's no I, I concerts, no I conferences, I like just lost it. basically everything, lost my shirt, I'm trying to still provide for my wife and my a kid. And so, I met these guys a few months ago, maybe six months ago, and they just needed some help in like the interim for some editing. And I was just, yes, whatever you need, I need some extra income, I need some relationship, I need some involvement with some great people, because just losing all those relationships and all the networks of uh, traveling and events was like, like the biggest heart thing for me to just miss out on. So then when they mentioned, hey, we also have a live event uh, coming up, there was something, a tangibly something in me that like jumped because it was like, it's been a year since I've done anything like this. We've all been missing out on being with each other. And these types of events, like these rooms, rooms like this where there's just hundreds, thousands of people in a space together all for one purpose is like, it, it gives me the energy to just do, because this takes months and hours and late nights, but this one moment we're gonna have in a few hours makes it all worth it. It makes it all just, I come together, because seeing people super excited about people they love, things they do, and then just all of us being together without masks on for the most part, like, if, if you were to ask me last year if this was even possible, there's just no way. So this is a miracle for sure. I don't know, did you hear what uh, the lady said about the different store? No, I was in the bathroom. No, so it's not just our building that doesn't have internet. It's this whole part of town. Like all the restaurants, all the buildings nearby, no internet. So like, the whole thing. Definitely no live stream until the internet's up too. So, <laughs> so what's the solution? Well, you call up Comcast, whoever runs this place. And <laughs> oh my says, God. Say, get a, the day. <laughs> Yeah. We do the live show. <laughs> it's probably those guys doing construction. Jack hammering is king, and he's like, "Oh, nuts! Oh, is that so the uh, oh, internet no. line?" I mean, it's not oh. a proper live show if something doesn't go wrong, right? Right. Yeah. So, well, the good news is we have. What, what time is it? Well, we wanted to have rehearsal at ten, it's and it's 11. now 11:40. So that's not too far off. open at four. So that means we can't do no rehearsals, no nothing on stage. And it's only like if, basically four hours till then. <laughs> and we haven't even done a single normal. But what run about lunch? Oh okay, gosh. if we can get one, if we can get one rehearsal, that'd be great. But if not, 
Oh my you just God. give we give it your best, okay? We will right. try our best <laughs> for God to do two rehearsals for mom. Hi, Amen. <laughs> so oh. we have four hours until our live show. Doors open. Door, right? oh, doors open. Doors okay. open two hours before it starts. So we're getting lunch right next door. We all haven't eaten anything. Three and a half hours till the doors open. We haven't done any rehearsals. Rehearsals ever. Well, we've have, we have rehearsed at home. We're basically like AI at this point. It's like practice. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Practice. We'll adjust. Yeah. We'll figure it out. So hopefully we get a, a nice good meal for lunch. Go back. Everything is working. We do a one take wonder rehearsal. And this is what's frustrating though. Is do you need baked beans for barbecue? No. Yes. You, you don't. Yes. yes so you let's do. take a vote. Don't. Baked beans. That's fine. Baked beans. Baked beans. I know. He did, I know. Oh yeah. Uh, Three versus uh, one. Oh my, oh my mac and cheesy bites. Oh, cheesy bites. Oh, gotta try it. What? Sally's oh. bites. Wait, <laughs> what, what are the odds that you crowd surf with the fans? They are right. That's where you How much do you need? What are the odds? Yeah. It's like a bunch of kids. Or how much would I need? Either. Oh, if you said 10 grand, is that. Ten grand, <laughs> but there's a chance you could land all on Tim. All the kids. Are <laughs> Hopefully, we feel good after eating this meal. Oh, we will. And we don't have stomach aches, and we're like, "Oops, gonna have to pause the show." I first gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> what are the odds that in the middle of the show? Let me show you go. Hey guys. Sorry, I'm just not feeling it right now. I had a big meal at Harmon Brothers. Trying to come up with a solution. I think we could at least run the live stream off of like a mobile hotspot so I could go I pick one up at the Verizon store. It's right next door. Hopefully, we can pay for it because they won't accept our credit cards because like everything is down. But what you know the, what? What, the, what? Worst comes to worst, we're just gonna have a thousand. Our kids here, we can just have a party. We got lots of snacks. And we'll just <laughs> hang out, play the our games on stage. So, if it doesn't work, do we record it all and say, oops? Yes. Here's the video. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be the only, that's that's gonna be the, that's gonna be our our best bet. Hopefully that's not because that would be a bummer. But <laughs> landing over there. Well, because we won't be able to like really like, check in people either because like any like digital oh. registration, all this stuff. Let's say worst case scenario, everything's off. Worst. Live show at six o'clock. So we'll open doors at four. We're gonna. We're gonna try to make this work all the way up until probably like seven. So even yeah. if we have to push doors back or I, a countdown, a DJ standout, we'll at least have a PA. We could play music. We could have a dance party. We'll be able to still do our show. Now, if like everything will work, because we're having like lighting, because it's all a tight into like the network. Everything's for some reason a tight end. So worst case though, live stream. We'll do a pre-recorded thing later we'll post it tonight or tomorrow morning as soon as we can post it i think would be best but i mean that's just the nature of these live events yeah. we just have to be ready to roll it's not a normal event if nothing but i would say wrong. that's right let's all just stop let's just pray over this lord we thank you for understanding a technology more than the smartest people on earth you have invented every part and even the a copper wires lord you have invented you have made these things. You understand, so Lord, we pray right now for just a divine interruption and in whatever the enemy is trying to, to do, we pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And we just thank you for the people that will be here tonight. We know that there is going to be amazing changes in people's lives, that they're going to hear the gospel, Lord. So we know the last thing that the enemy wants is a thousand young people that have all the passion and fervor for life to be in this room tonight and the people online. So Lord, we just thank you for interceding. We thank you for a clearing up any issue and we just pray right now in faith right? not only that lord yeah, we yeah. ask for your protection yes. over this thank building you, every single door lord we just want your will to be done Amen. lord so we submit and we give up this night to you we give up our concerns our worries our anxious thoughts 
Yes, because uh, your word says, do not be anxious about everything, but in everything, through prayer and supplication, Amen. make your request known to God. And we are making our request We're making known. it known. We want the live stream to work. We want all this to flow and it to just be better than we anticipate. So we, mm. we have faith and trust that you are moving. And uh, we just pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Father Lord, I do ask that you would, um, you would, just like Justin said, protect us. But Lord, also... That you do great things, Lord, that tonight would be a night about you showing up, mm-hmm. even when nothing else may show up, yeah, Lord. Father, I pray that you would have kids uh, and families and even adults that would have a uh, miraculous transformation of the gospel thank because you. of you, uh, Lord, and just hearing your truth or even just being in this place, Lord, that you would work because things are going right, mm-hmm. because things are going right, that people would receive it better. That it would be an even growing uh, force for not only J. Stu, but for your gospel. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Father. And when, when we are weak, you are strong. So yeah, even in these good. moments when things aren't going the way we plan, that's, you know what, that is okay. Because yeah, we, we, we have faith and we believe in you that no matter what happens, it's going to just gonna be fun. Even if we have to go out in the parking lot and yes, just yes, right. bump it and just have a party. That's, that's what we're right. going to do. So. Yes, sir. Thank yes, you, Lord. We thank you for bringing whatever we don't have. So, Lord, we thank you for us bringing less to the table so you can bring mm-hmm. the rest. Because whatever you bring, Lord, mm-hmm. is amazing. So we just I give you what we have tonight. Whatever is working, whatever we have, we give to you. You multiply it. You make it amazing, Lord. So we yep. thank you for being here tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Cool. I'm cool with the party. No way! You guys think this is our first live show. We've been planning this thing for what, eight months? Something like that? Yeah, eight months. Something like that. You have your jerseys? Uh, it's going to be epic. I saw the line out there, dude. I'm super pumped. And what's the energy in this room like right now? Well, it's surpri- the energy in this room is surprisingly calm, honestly. With it just being us four, I can't sense any nerves. It's been a never ending, I got a poop day. <laughs> Honestly, I think I knew right from the start that these guys were going to do something like this. And I actually come from an event background, and I'm very familiar with putting on live shows and events and stuff, and these guys have the perfect personality to go out there and really entertain the crowd. So honestly, I have no worries at all. I think they're going to crush it, and it's going to be epic. That's dad. Dad's dude. <laughs> and mom's too. And mom's too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, think, awesome. I think they know. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so funny. Yeah, we don't look alike. We <laughs> <laughs> didn't. Not even close. Countdown. Must have snacks. Go backstage. Intro. Check your transition. <laughs> Plinko board video. Plinko board transition video. Mess ups. Get a real job. Oh, these! <laughs> Those are the freshest <laughs> shorts in the game! They look like boxes. You said boxes, I was like, what boxes? Shields. <laughs> and where's our, uh, where's our, uh, the boy scouts are out there. As you can see from behind me, lights are working on stage. That's a big plus. We also got word that the internet is working. So we are praying that it stays that way because we have the live show starting in less than three hours and we haven't even done a single rehearsal. Uh, it's gonna be okay. We got our first rehearsal, guys. Good luck. I, I, I've known Andrew and Justin for a long time. I've known Andrew for a long time. I actually was friends with um, his wife. <laughs> and <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so I, I knew them. And then I had just come from Vegas and I'd moved to Vegas and they. I remember getting a text saying, hey, are you interested in running social media? And I was like, heck yeah, I'm, I'm interested. And so we met and I just heard their vision and their heart for what they want to do, how they want to make an impact, um, just even with the phrase of laughing daily and what that means for so many young people um, need joy in their life. They come from sometimes sometimes tough backgrounds, uh, bullying. I think that's something I see a lot is some kids really like 
really look up to Andrew and Justin and Hyper um, for a sense of almost like they're, 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 they're friends with each other. And um, so getting to see that vision come together, seeing their Laugh Daily vision actually make an impact on the people has been really cool to be able to be take a front row seat to seeing that happen. I think part of the reason we sped up is because they kept playing, playing the bear music back. Oh, yeah. They were doing it like every five minutes. I'm like, no, we have two cues True. for that. Rawr, rawr, I was just yeah, taking rawr. my time because yeah, I, I wanted think, to I drag think, it out. Right, exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, if we just kind of yeah. go slow because it's like just have fun with it and go slow. I just don't want the skit to just be like five seconds long. Exactly. Like, yeah. Well, and thankfully we work. have that set time with him backstage. Right. Yeah, that's a long. Maybe we could stay on stage. Is, huh? and, it is. Yeah. It's, it's hard when there's an imaginary bear, but I'm sure once sure. it's up there, when you're like actually battling. It, and Samuel is going to be the bear. <laughs> Samuel is going to be the bear. Yes. When is like? Are we like right on schedule? Hi, hi. Joshua Lord's out there right now. I have. We've got to find someone from the UK and get them to do that. That's been our running joke for weeks. Hoipa! 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 Let me just say that made everyone fuck for me. Just did it. I did. I literally have not What's up, man? I'm DJ Standout. I'm here. I've been DJing for probably 15 years or so. I love rocking the tables. I'm excited to be here. It's going to be an amazing time. It always is with Jay Stu. Every time. You can imagine, you know, DJing, uh, you know, virtually and then be DJing in person feel a lot different. And so I'm just excited for all the people that are going to be here. I think there's going to be like a thousand people here. So people from all over the country drove out here, flew out here, all that stuff. So they're going to be ready to have a good time and we're going to have a good time for sure. Is it going to be a party tonight? It's going to be a party. You hear me? Let's go. <laughs> They're shoulder to shoulder, crazy. It's not like, just for me to get to here took like 20 minutes. It's gonna be epic, man. That's good. Ready? Good luck. Ready? 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 But then Justin Butson went the whoa, bro. You don't want to do that. It'd be too bad if you ruined your appetite. I assume that you had breakfast. We're not even close to lunch. Then both of us know just what we're 
supposed to munch We bust those facts out, pull never be last time, so I'm out to pass round Stacks bound, I was ever got a one-way ticket on the way to Snacks Town That's how we do it, Rain, two or three, release, every chance how You may ask it to get like this, it's just something I must have now Do we have stacks pounds? We'll get all you can eat Got the cheese, it's are you serious, man, it's all you can eat You want cereal? We got Cheerios, Pops, and some weeds Obviously from Takis to Reese's, we gotta have these snacks Rockin' with the flavored water, Max Pack I can knock back bottle after bottle, that's facts Y'all can talk smack, crackin' jokes on my crack jack It's automatic, bro, that you know I gotta have snacks And I must have snacks It's a requirement soon in my environment And I must have snacks Hand in the bag like I'm reaching for retirement, yeah It's a must I can make a video until we see something to munch, yeah We've gained so many new relationships and so many new opportunities and doors that have been opened and we wouldn't be here without the fans watching and their support. I mean, we get like, we used to get fan mail all the time from, you know, kids and even adults who are just like, I just love your videos. And that honestly is like what has kept us going too because our motto is laugh daily. And when people send us messages or see us in person, want to get a picture because of that impact that we've had in their lives, even just through our videos, like we've never met them, but they're like, oh man, you you have really like uplifted my life. And it's like, my goodness, gotta keep making. Making YouTube videos has always been, and I think will continue to be a passion and just, it's a dream. I mean, I've always loved being in front of the camera ever since I was a kid. And so coming to work every day doesn't feel like work. It's just me hanging out with my best friends, having fun, making people laugh, which is what we're passionate about. So I feel like I'll be making YouTube videos till I'm old, honestly. Me and my best friends, we've been there, we done that, got the t-shirt, and we were destined to get back to the past when we play high. Bad.